At this point, we're going to be learning a little bit about working with some of the basics of the timeline. So as you can see here, the primary thing that we're going to be concentrating on in this first video is dealing with the layers themselves. So just to get a little bit of a handle on what we're doing, I'm going to create a simple square right here. I'm using the shift key to sort of put that into position. And I'm going to double click the text that's written here so I can name it square or SQ or whatever I want. And let's take a look at what's going on. Well, you'll notice that inside of Flash, anytime you have something on a layer or when you select that particular layer that you're working with, you'll notice that there is a pencil icon right here indicating that this is in fact the layer that you are working with. These layers can be made invisible so you cannot see what's on that layer. Now everything's still there. We're just temporarily hiding them. And for example, you can also lock that layer so that I cannot select anything that's on that layer, as you can see. You can also make this layer viewable in outline mode. And as you can see here, I've got the outline of the object. Be careful though, because even when you're in outline mode, you could still select, uh, for example, not only the outline or the stroke, but you could actually select a piece of the object, just as I'm doing right here. So you got to be a little bit careful about what you're doing with that regard. Now, that's a little bit about the basics, but here I'm going to show you that you can create yet another new layer. Here, let's just call this OV for oval. I'm going to choose a different color. And what we're going to be doing with these colors, in just a second, I'll just choose one that's relatively appropriate. And I'm going to make a oval shape just right here. And if you remember when we were drawing things, we sort of notice that when you had two objects on top of each other um, and they shared the same layer uh, when you move the objects after deselecting and then you select it again and move the object it used to take a bite out of the same piece well since these objects are on two separate layers no need to worry about any of that and now I can position these objects wherever I want notice that if you had multiple layers like let's say 50 or something crazy like that having to come through and hide each of those individual layers is a bit of a pain so one of the things you can do is click right on the eye at the top and that hides all the layers and then you could you know turn on just the one that you want to work with or turn them all back on you can lock all the layers you can even put all of the layers in outline mode now notice the outline modes have specific colors but if you double click on the layer not the name but just like the icon or anywhere else you can get layer properties so you could say whether to show or hide it lock same thing as you got up here but you could also choose different outline colors you know I could come in here and choose the same color that I had uh, for the actual object itself um, and we'll get into some of the other things but you could say whether or not this is a normal layer a mask layer a folder or a guide layer so that should be enough for us at this point but let's say I did have 50 layers and as you can see scrolling through all of these layers will be kind of a you know bit of a pain for example look here I'm gonna say try and I'm gonna add a triangle let me just choose a different color here for a second and if I were to choose my polystar tool and my properties window I could go to the options and I could say hey only give me three sides and that should be fine for our purposes because all I really want is a triangle shape well notice that's a three-sided star which I'm not really crazy about I can come back in here and I'm going to change that to polygon so that we actually do have a triangle so now I've got these three layers now if I wanted to delete one of those layers, quite easy, just select it, delete it. I'm going to control Z undo that for a second. Now uh, that's pretty simple, but let's say I had 50 layers and as you can see if you had multiple layers here, I'll make a few more that are not going to have anything on them. In order to see where or what's on all these layers, you're going to have to scroll up and down down here. That could be a bit of a pain. So sometimes what you would want to do is, for example, I've got all these shapes you can create a new folder and in this folder I could double click it and give it whatever appropriate name I want like shapes and I can shift click to select all of these items and drag them right into the shapes 
folder. So that allows me to collapse what's in this folder. So that's a nice way to you know, keep things uh, working for you and have them um, organized in a nice, neat fashion. If you want to delete that folder, you can. But look what it says. Also deleting a folder deletes layers nested within it. Do you want to do that? Well, I'm going to say no. I want to keep those layers. So I'm just going to shift click. I'm going to drag this outside of the folder. And then I'll delete that folder. So that's just a little bit about the basics of the layers. Now, when you come back in the next video, I'm going to show you a little bit about the basics of working with this timeline.